And hello there folks, more RJB here with Bisu, Gensei, Jadong, Shuttle, Queen and Brain. Ready to enter the arena yet again to bring us some of that very hot and sweaty entertainment as they are ready to engage in mortal combat against each other here on the fastest map in part number two of this 3v3 best of series with some of the best names in StarCraft history. On the Browns Earth, it is Jay Dong, one of the best players of all time, argue, arguably the most accomplished Zerk player of all time. Maybe no longer the best Zerk player of all time, but mostly, most certainly the most accomplished player amongst all the Zerks in existence. Gensei here on the Blue Protoss, a fastest map player who is trying to become a professional player under the coaching of C and some other professional players. Then we got Bisu, the most accomplished Protoss player in history. Currently no longer considered to be the best, but he's still considered to be in the top four of best Protoss players of all time and of the current best players. Then we have Shuttle here, Blue Protoss, on the middle right of the map, ready to take down those two very highly accomplished players here on the fastest map. Then we have Queen on the White Zerk. He is a two-time ASL champion and a three-time finalist and also won in, I think he won a tournament in the Kespa era as well. He's very, very good. The most accomplished Zerg player in the ASL era. The most accomplished player in the ASL timeline. And lastly, Brain here, a semi professional player who made it very far in the one ASL he participated in, but he's mostly known as the very best fastest player of all time which is a pretty big thing as well. He's basically the flash of the fastest map. So we have on the map, um, Zerg's going for hatchery, uh, gas hatchery pool or gas pool hatchery into Zerglings with Zergling speed. Not a lot of drones on the money there, but that's the Zerg life. A little bit of money coming into the bank, but a lot of Zerglings flooding onto the map. The Protoss players though are doing a seven pilot into a nine gateway into an 11 11 gateway into a forge and more pylons so that's kind of what these players tend to do they don't build a lot of cannons in their base they mostly just build units to fight and defend with in this case we can see gensei trying to leverage control over shuttle because brain is pretty far away there on the top corner jadong gensei and bisu all have a shorter traveling time into the middle so Gensei is using that leverage over the other team to build cannons on the middle. But of course, we can see that Shield is not going to let that happen. There's a shield battery coming in. We can see Queen trying to enter the middle as well, trying to get a flank. We have cool Jadong trying to force himself into this section here to push Shuttle away. Brain, not sure what to do. Well, he is sure what to do. He's far away from this point right here. So he knows he's got to pull back and protect his own base. Whereas Queen looks to be in some trouble here. So the spawning locations definitely are in favor of Team Bisu. They have leverage over shuttle. Supply counts are pretty much the same everywhere. Brain trying to sneak into Bisu's base. Who's got one cannon and two more warping in. Whereas right now, they're trying to push onto Queen, who's got one sunken and another one on the way. Shuttle there blocked into his main base. Brain cannot quite find an angle into Bisu's base, because Bisu has very good protection in the back there, with Zealots blocking access to the cannons. He is well protected. So Queen now here, exposed in the back. He's got nothing to defend himself with, except two sunkens finished, four Zerklings trying to block off the entrance points to hit those sunkens. Yeah, Queen is gonna die right here, right now. Sometimes these games, sometimes these games just end this quick. Sometimes it's all over within the blink of an eye. Usually a Zerg player dies after one of the Protoss players gets isolated from the map. In this case, Shuttle got shut off from the map, can't get out, has to go for advanced technology, and Brain is trying to do some return damage on Bisu, but Bisu protects himself very well with the triple cannon. And now Brain, snaking about the map, but leaves his entrance wide open and actually gets his Zealots 
cut off from his main base. So now they're going to try to break the cannons here that Gensei built. That's a lot of cannons. Zergen's coming in to try to protect the cannons. Zealots from Bisu and Gensei coming in from the side there as well to try and prevent this from being taken down. They do kill some cannons, but mostly just lose a lot of units. And I think at this point, they should know it's a GG. They cannot defend themselves against this overpowering Zealot Zergling force. They kind of gambled on trying to break free, but no, nope, they couldn't break free. Even Freddie Mercury could not break free from this containment. This is not a free society. This is a society ruled by the brutality of Queen, of, sorry, of Jadong, Gensei, and Bisu. So Shuttle now gonna fall as well. Does not have a lot to defend. He sacrificed a lot of zealots to cannons. Did not build a lot of cannons himself. He's dying. These are his last dying breaths. We can see Brain trying to do some something. He's trying to do something. He's trying to kill Jadong. But Jadong there has a lot of sunkets on the way. They call GG, tap out, and it looks like Team Jadong wins game number three. Well, actually, it's called Team B's one at the top, so let me just give them a point. Let me just give them one little point there and put them in the lead over Team Brain. Very, very quick game. Very quick game. Sometimes it's just decided just like that. It was a very tough spawning location situation there for Team Brain. Brain was on the opposite side of the map from Queen. That is bad news for both Brain and Queen. It just takes way too long to travel from the top left to the bottom right. Shuttle got caught in between. He can go to either side pretty quick, but he would kind of get caught in the middle by the enemy team. All the enemy units, they get an easy surround. And in those kinds of situations, games can end really quick. This time around, we have Jadong, on the opposite side of the map of Bisu, right here. So Jadong, Bisu, top right, bottom left. And then we have Gensei on the same spawn on the middle left. But then we also have Shuttle and Brain on opposite sides of the map. But they're both Protoss. So the Zerg, being right next to Brain, is not as isolated as last time. This game is kind of even in terms of spawning locations. No team has leverage from being in closer proximity than their opponents because everyone is kind of far away from each other except these two bottom teams uh, players and these two players on the left. So we're seeing a pool into gas there from Queen, but we see Jay Dong going for hatchery first because he's far removed from his team. So he goes for hatchery pool because he feels safe enough, at the moment at least, to go for a hatchery first and delay his zircling production. So his hatchery pool gas, we can see that Queen will have faster zirklings out on the map, but he will probably have one or two less drones than Jadong, and Jadong might have a third hatchery as well. So a couple differences there between the two players, whereas Queen will only have two hatcheries. All the Protoss players doing the same again is 7-9 pylon into gateway, 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 pylon, gas. Gas? No, usually we see a forge. Look here, usually we get a forge, but we have Brain going for no forge into a gas. He's up to a lot of funky stuff. He's the only player deviating from the norm, although we have Shuttle here not going for a forge either. Very interesting that he's not going for a forge, not yet at least. Still no forge. The fighting has not yet started. There's a forge that's coming in from shuttle. L very late forge. Very, very late forge. Zerglings there from Queen trying to sneak, sneak up onto Gensei. He was blocking access to the cannon with the probes. Very well played. One more is out there from shuttle trying to get his way in on the probe action and kill one of them. The cannon there from Gensei is coming in very, very slow. Very slow. Cannon coming in there from Shuttle. We have Jadong with the triple hatchery. Zerkins are on the middle. We have Zerkins here from Queen trying to get in, but as the cannon finishes up, they can no longer attack Jay, uh, Gensei. 
So Genzi at the moment is safe from enemy harm. Safe from enemy attacks. So let's go for a red versus blue for a small little bit. Although, one of the viewers commented that they wanted to see more red versus blue because it's easier to see the teams, but it's very difficult to see who the individual players are when we're on red versus blue because we have six players. Six players. Zergling dies there. Multiple Zerglings die there from Jadong. Down to six. Now they're trying to advance onto Queen. Bees are there advancing onto Queen. A lot of Zealots there in his base. We have Zealots from Gensei coming in as well, but Brain is coming in to help him out. Zerglings are there in the middle, going for a backstep attack. Trying to keep those Sunkens in the back alive. He's trying to get on top of them. This one is blocking. Here we have a drone and a Zerkling block, and they do get on top of the Sunkens. Drones are clipping into the Zealots. We have a flag there, but more Zealots are coming in there from the side. We have a brain there trying to participate and help. Are those two Sunkens in the back going to survive or die? That's the big question. I think the Sunkens will survive, and I think Queen will, of course, survive as well. Zerklings there from Jadong trying to surround the Zealot there from Shell. But Shell has an overpowering amount of Zealots, so he's going to win that fight easily. We have Siddle of a Dune with Zealot Speed coming in there from Brain. Already on. He's going for nine? For eight gateways very early into the game. Eight gateways very early into the game. More pressure being put here onto Queen. Very good protection there off those Sunkers. Look at those Zealots there from Brain. On hold position, blocking the Sunken, but now we have Zerkin's coming in. Sunken dies, Sunken number two. Sunken stays alive. Nope, it's gonna die, and Queen is dead and gone. No drones alive anymore. We have Shuttle and just Shuttle coming in to help him. A lot, there's some brain zealots as well. So yeah, Queen is effectively dead. 76 minerals. He can make one single drone and try to recover, but I don't... He's gonna try. Okay, he's gonna try to mine some minerals with one single drone. We have Zealots from Gensei there sitting on the side. We've got a fight there on the middle. They were trying to contain Gensei. Zealous beat there from Brain is kicking in. Oh, yep. Oh, the drone. They went in just a little bit too early. The drone wasn't finished yet. Jadong trying to kill Queen. Jadong is pretty worried. She's got a lot of Sunkens there ready to go. Still creep colonies, but ready to go. He's, he's trying to do his utmost best to keep the drone alive. It's getting pulled away. It stays alive, but oh, they're on the chase. Can't quite get it. Almost dies. Almost dies. 9 HP. And here they're succeeding in blocking the middle of the map to keep Gente contained. And they might try to expand this cannon line towards Bisu. Shuttle is on cannoning duty. Six gateways, he's got speed on the way for his Zelda of one attack as well. Got a Templar's Archive. We have Gensei going for a robotics. Got a Templar's Archive finished up. He's getting storms. Templar there in the middle. We have Bisu trying to flank from the bottom. Supply lead for Brain and Shuttle. Both Bisu and Gensei are down in supply compared to their enemies. Got a robotic there from Bisu, we have a support observatory coming in. They're expecting their Templars from the opposing team. So they try to have a small little run in on Jadong, but Jadong has a lot of Sunkens. He should be fine and capable of protecting himself from that Zealot aggression. So there might, they are gonna try to kill Gensei here with a frontal attack into his base. He has a couple, a lot of cannons in the back. He should be fine. Although this amount of Zealots is really, really high. But the fact that they're now going in on Gensei means that the Zealots from Bisu have the opportunity to maybe go for a backstab attack here onto Brain, who's warping in cannons as we speak. They're going for a surround from every single direction onto Gensei's base. He's got a lot of Zealots and probes protecting and sealing off the access points. Like, look at this. He's blocking all of the access points. They cannot hit the cannons. So they're just losing a lot of Zealots trying to break through not achieving anything of significance. Right here, Bisu though is pushing onto Brain. Bisu is in the lead with a supply at the moment. He's got the most supply, the most fighting power. Brain and Shuttle might have just overshot their potential, their capabilities, by going for an all-in attack on the Gensei, who defended that attack easily. Double Dark Temple though are killing gateways. They have control. 
Genzi is locked into this small little section of his base. Whereas with Bisu, under attack by Dark Templars, Observer is on the way though, so the Dark Templars will no longer be an issue in the near future. Very soon, the Observer will be here. But the Dark Templars are killing Dragoons and killing Zealots, but there is the Observer and the Dark Templars do go down. Brain is gonna lose his gateways and Bisu actually has the opportunity to just sneak into the backside and kill the cannons and kill Brain altogether, but he's just going for the gateways. Meanwhile, he's probably just going for the gateways because we can see that uh, Shuttle is actually going for an attack onto Bisu along with Brain's help. And because all of his units are in Brain's base, he's not really having a lot of success defending himself. This, this cannons are dying. Cannons are dying. There's a lot of zealots in his base. He's got a big wave of zealots spawning very soon though. Two reavers on the way. He should be able to survive when the two reavers arrive. But here, look at Brain losing most of his base. He's building new gateways on the top side. Building new gateways on the top side. Whereas Queen is still as dead as can be. And Bisu survives the attack, took a lot of damage, but not enough damage to justify losing 20 to 30 zealots on that attack. So, so far, Team Bisu once again looking very, very strong. Very, very strong. We have a shuttle drop there coming in onto Brain under the protection of Dragoons and Zealots. Finds a way in, flies forward, starts unloading, probes running to safety, Templar storming, gets a pretty good amount of kills there. 12 kills. At this point, on one single Nexus Bowl orders, 12 probe kills is amazing. So, a little bit of Reaver Shuttle dancing there, killing the cannons. Gonna try to fly closer in on the probes, or is he not? No, he's gonna kill cannons again. Has to pick them up really quick there though. Picks them both up in the blink of an eye. Unloads right next to the probes. Probes running the safety. Probes are pretty far away. He's just kills a Dark Templar, I guess. That's really good as well. Probes return back to the minerals. There's still something inside the shuttle. I can't select it. It's too low. Like it's, it's too low on the map. There it is. So two Reavers inside. Zelda's there inside of shuttle space. He might have tried to go for it. Yeah, he tried to go for a Templar drop out the shuttle. The shuttle did not get hit. He's waiting, unload, starts to shoot its load, but the probes do die, they do die. So in total, Brain has lost at least 23 or 24 probes in total. But now another big, massive frontal attack from Shuttle onto Gensei. Gensei's supply is very small, but he has a lot of cannons in the front there. Great storms on the Zealots. Really good storms on the Zealots. Another attack from Bisu onto Brain. Brain's supply is very, very low. Shuttle has the lead in supply, but Bisu is not too far behind. And he has level 2 attack upgrades. That's very, very high upgrades. Very high upgrades. Level 1 armor, level 1 attack there for Bisu. Gente's base is getting torn apart. Shuttle is breaking through the front. But Zealous is spawning for Gente. Gente still has a last line of defense. Whereas Bisu just got dropped down to 7 probes in total. But Jay Dong is attacking Shuttle. We forgot all about Jay Dong who has a massive base of hatcheries, 50 drones. Jay Dong might just take home the victory here and win the game for his team because both Gensei and Bisu are bleeding out. Dangerously bleeding out. Taking a lot of damage. But Brain here as well. Pretty much no money in the bank. Pretty much no units left as well. He's got a Reaver in the back, got a double high Templar. He might be able to defend himself from this because Bisu ran out of income, given that he lost his probes. And Jadong there does get his attack repelled by Shuttle's very good multitasking and gateway production. This force is strong, but look at this. Jadong is, at this point in time, the richest and the strongest player on the map. He's got so many hatcheries. I count at least 12 of them. He should have no trouble outproducing any of the other players on the map. Brain still on 14. There's a shuttle lying in the back, waiting to strike and maybe hit those probes again. So they're trying to put leverage onto Gensei, but Gensei has a Reaver shuttle in the back that might turn the tide of this fight. Might turn the tide. Not too sure if it will. And here another wave of Lurkers and Hydralisks going for an attack onto Shuttle who has his units inside of Gensei's base. 
Like Temple's there in the middle, trying to fight back, but they do die. Queen calls GG, Brain calls GG, and Shuttle gonna stay in a little bit longer, but he sees the writing on the walls and calls GG as well, which means we have a th third win for Team Bisu. A third win for Team Bisu. Very, very strong performance there by Bisu, Jay Dong, and Gensei as well. Very strong performance. Oh wait, actually, let's look at the end score real quick. Let's see who killed. Shuttle was the star of the match. Shuttle was kind of untouched on his economy. Gensei did try to shuttle drop in once, but they never hit him. And everyone else did get hit by something. Brain lost a lot of probes. Jidong needed time to get big because he started off with a lot of circlings and a very few drones. So this is really good. When a Zerg reaches the point where their income is the same as one Protoss player, that's great. It means the Zerg is very, very strong. Bisu lost a lot of probes, lost a lot of income. Look at this, he had the most probes, but then got shut down to the least probes on the map. And Gensei overall never really had proper time to recover from all those frontal attacks he was under, uh, he was taking from Shuttle and Brain, but he never took too much damage that he could not recover from and no longer participate with. Big important thing, taking damage is okay, but if the damage is too much and you can't recover, your team will likely fall behind on the other one. So mitigating or minimizing the damage is a huge, huge skill to have. And as we saw that game, Gensei protected himself beautifully from a huge 40 zealot attack from both sides of his base. So really well played. So this time around we have two blue players. We are looking at Shuttle here on the middle right. We are looking at Queen on the bottom right on the Zerg and Brain on the bottom left on the Magenta Pink Protoss. And we got Jadong here on the middle, bottom middle of the map. Brown Zerg yet again. He's been brown every single game. Gensei Yellow Protoss and Bisu on the blue Protoss. So both B2 and Shuttle on the blue Protoss, I might feel forced to go for red versus blue this entire game, but it will be very difficult to see who is who. We do know that Shuttle is right here, we know that Queen is right here, we know that Brain is right here on the bottom, and we know Jadong, then Bisu and Gensei. But when those Zealots are on the middle of the map, we can say goodbye to knowing who is who. We can say goodbye. It's going to be impossible to see and notice and keep track. So the usual stuff, we have Jadong going for pool hatchery. Not kind of like the last game where he went hatchery, pool hatchery. With the delayed zerklings, we can see that this time around Queen is going for hatchery pool gas. So it might just be a corner spawn thing. Corner spawn hatchery pool gas. Middle spawn, pool, hatchery, gas. I think that is what's happening. I think that is what's happening. So a drone went down there for Jay Dong, and more of his drones are under attack. We can s let me just let me just check. These are two different probes. Bisu probe. That's a Bisu probe. Shuttle probe. They look almost the exact same. The cool thing we got going on here is the fact that there's probe against probe micro happening. And so far, the only kills have been on the side of Jay Dong, losing one single drone to the brutal probe harassment. So Brain going for four gateways. He's been doing everything except triple gateway forge so far. He's always been switching things up a little bit. Everyone else for... Wait... Or Bisu going for four gateways as well? Interesting. So two players on opposing teams going for four gateways. Something I wasn't expecting, but something that is happening. Bisu is getting a forge now though, because the Zealot from Shuttle is trying to hit his probes. And he knows that perhaps I do need a cannon at some point. So let's just get the forge right now so that I can safely protect and keep Zealots away from my probes. Because if there's no cannon, Zealots are going to keep walking in circles, like this, to hit probes and try to kill them. Not what you want. 
I assume this is Jay Dong here on the middle, pushing Brain back to his base. Shul there being controlled and contained by Bisu and Gensei. Gensei also going for four gateways now after the forge. Whereas Shuttle is still on the triple gateway, fighting here on the middle, trying to get control, trying to push those zealots back and kill the cannons. It's confusing. The blue against blue, it is confusing. Brain coming in from behind. Gonna try to kill one cannon, gets on top of the cannon. We need Zerkers on top of the other one, get on top of the other one. They do get on top of that one, but in the process of killing the cannons, they might lose the fight here. Because when they attack the cannons, the zealots are attacking the zealots. So yeah, they do fall behind in supply because of that exact mechanic. You attack a building, which means you do not damage the enemy units. But the fact that the cannons are gone, which did cost money, is pretty big. That's pretty important. Cannons do cost money and cannons being gone means no control over the middle, no isolation tactics happening. Important little detail. So Jidong and Queen kind of in the same situation, similar supplies, one more drone there for Queen. Supply counts for Brain, Shuttle and Bisu and Gensei are pretty much the same. Once again, an attempt to kill the probe there by Queen, but Gensei and Bisu not going to let that probe die that easily. Brain though, going for an attack there on to Jidong. If he kills some drones, that's gonna be big. He actually um, gets right in between the Zerglings and the Sunken. So the Sunken in the back is going to die. Although the drones are now trying to protect that one. Jay Dong is in trouble. Jay Dong does not have enough to defend himself against this aggression. The Zerglings and Zealots. Jay Dong might just die again and Queen might survive. So, so far in every single game, at least one Zerg dies every single time. The other one stays alive and that one Zerg that stays alive then ends up winning the game for their team. Jadong stays alive. Jadong has survived. His allies have arrived to keep him alive. Which now means that Queen is under attack there from Gensei. So he's building Sunkens behind his main hatchery. Easiest to protect and defend. Seals off the top entrance with a Evo Chamber. Bisu is coming in over the middle as well. Shuttle is once again isolated from the middle of the map. Once again forced to go for shuttles. Again. Getting range and weapon attack. Brain gonna try to help his ally Queen out here because Queen, he's doing fine. He's doing kind of fine. They're trying to get on top of the drones. They do get on top of the drones. Zerling is dying quick. Four drones still alive at the back. Zealot's coming in from the top getting right into the backside. He has to keep those drones alive, running them to safety. Sunkens are doing most of the work, but Zealot there from Brain coming in from behind. But Zealots from Kenze once again coming in behind on those Zealots from Brain. Same for the Zealots from Bisu. And there was another attempt there on Jadong, but we have Zealots from Bisu that are protecting him. More cannons dropping in on the middle. Supply counts are in favor of Brain and Shuttle. But we have Queen on the low supply. 8 supply in total, but 4 Sunkens to protect himself, that looks pretty good. Whereas Jay Dong is droning up, he's kind of stopped making big waves of Zerglings. He wants to grow bigger and richer, because at this point in the game, we have Bisu and Gensei controlling the pace of the game, but Brain there with Zealot Speed on the middle with a lot of gateways. Just a very quick look, a lot of gateways, 8 of them in total. Bisu is also getting a lot of gateways, and on the middle here, it looks like Brain is winning the fight. Huge supply lead there over his opponents. And we have Shuttle going for Dragoon to kill the gateways in the front. While here in the back, he's building a robotics facility. Finished up, getting a shuttle. Observatory also finished up, getting four more gateways. He's got six finished up, three more on the way. It's going to be a total of nine. A lot of production will be coming out there from Shuttle. These are cannons warping in to protect himself from drops. We have BZ on the top with a lot of gateways. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And here in the back. Brain, once again, does not succeed in mortally and griefly damaging Jadong, but does slow him down. Queen, on the other hand, has now 22 drones. He managed to get ahead of Jadong due to the harassment from Brain. Brain there on the middle trying to buy more time for Queen to recover. He needs to keep baiting 
these units from Bisu and Ge um, Gensei towards himself as they keep them busy and occupied. Supply lead is huge, 104 there for Brain, 123 there for Shuttle. Gensei Zealous have, don't have speed yet. Gensei lost a lot of money on spending um, building these cannons here to keep Shuttle contained. The containment has worked so far, Shuttle has not participated on the middle, but he's got Reavers now. He's gonna push through, although the Reavers are bugging out. That's a big one. Reavers are, yeah, Reavers are bugging out. Small little attack there on the Overlords. They're still fighting here in the front, but Brain is winning that fight pretty, pretty hard. So he gets access to the middle of the map, and they might try to forcefully break Shuttle out of this contain. Although first, Brain has to kill those Dragoons from Bisu. Wait, no, he's going for the middle. They're gonna break free. Is it the right choice though? There's a lot of cannons. Double Reaver though. Double Reaver might just change the outcome of this fight. Yeah, it's changing the outcome. We have a Dark Temple there from Bisu. Red versus blue. Reaver's in the back. Observer coming in there from Shuttle. Dark Templars are useless now. Big, big push here up from Brain and Shuttle. Completely taking out this containment that was keeping Shuttle under control. But he's broken free with the help of a Shuttle Reaver. Living up to his name. We have a drop there from Gensei. Marching and flying in onto Brain. Gonna try to kill his economy. But here in the middle, Shuttle and Brain are winning the middle fight really, really hard. But here comes a drop from Gensei. It's Dark Templar. It's not a High Templar. Gonna try to kill the cannons. Kills one of them. Gonna kill the top one as well. But the bottom one there stays alive. But so he can still kill the technology here. He can still kill the technology. Observatory there is on the way from Brain. Small little attack attempt there on the Jadong, but Jadong has so many sunkens he will not get hurt by this. Queen though, more drones, 32. He's getting rich quick, he's getting a lair. More hatcheries as well. Attack here onto Bisu from Shuttle. The Lost Reavers there, gonna hit those probes. Calls a GG, he cannot escape in time. Yes, we finally have a win on the board. Number two, Ever Team Brain. The score now 3 to 2. Beautiful coordination from every single team so far. The way they protected their allies and attacked the enemies and the coordination of movement, everything was beautifully executed. Very high pace game, a huge focus on offense, less focus on defending. Except for the Zergs, they were kind of defending the entire game. They did not really do much. They kind of just tried to grow bigger and richer and then Got interrupted, except Queen. He kind of had an uninterrupted sequence of building drones for the past four minutes. So he did get up to a lot of drones, was almost able to participate with Hydralisks, was getting range and speed and level one attack for his Hydras. He was ready to start fighting. But then the game ended because look at this. We have Shuttle and Brain absolutely overpowering Bisu. Double Reaver with a Shuttle, within range of the probes. Probes were dying. Can we see the kills? Yeah, five kills on this one. We cannot see the ones that this Reaver killed. But yeah, thank you for watching. It was part number two. We're gonna have part number three coming up very soon. Hope you enjoyed this one. I tried to lose, I tried to use more red versus blue, specifically in the last game, because Shuttle and Bisu being on the blue color and close to each other, that was kind of hard to notice, kind of hard to see, it was kind of a bother. So next time I hope they have more distinct colors. I still don't know why Blizzard decided to throw in all those same looking colors because it really hurts the game more than it enriches it. So anyway, this was it for today and I'll see you soon. Hope to see you return and I hope you're ready for more action with these mega big best of all time names.